Well, good morning once again, everyone. Welcome to our 10 a.m. daily devotions this morning. Uh, thank you again for being a part of this and sharing in this time, uh, this point of connection for us amidst uh, this time of sheltering in place. Um, today, uh, the focus of our devotion is going to be uh, part of Paul's letter to the church in Philippi. So we're going to be reading um, from the letter of Philippians, the second chapter. We're going to be verses 1 through 8. I put that down um, in the description there for this video. So you'll see it in the description. We're going to read Philippians 2, 1 through 8. So welcome to all of you who are hopping on this Facebook Live for our devotions this morning. Um, as usual, what I'm going to do is uh, begin us with a, a word of prayer, and then I have a question for you to reflect upon and to think about uh, here this morning. So thank you for joining in. Um, so let me begin with uh, this uh, opening prayer. Empowering God, we pray that you would open our minds to the new way of being, the new way of living that you reveal to us through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Open our hearts and our minds and our hands to reflect the compassion of Christ each and every day of our own lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So good morning once again. As I said, we're going to be reading Philippians 2, 1 through 8 this morning. But before we get to that, I was wondering, hey, good morning, Joan. Thanks for watching. I was wondering if you have ever set your mind to something, right? Uh, determined to not stop, to not quit, not give up until you did whatever it was you did. You accomplished whatever you wanted to accomplish. You finished whatever it was you sought to finish. And so I'm wondering if you've ever, ever done that, ever set your mind... Um, to something and if you have uh, give me a you can throw up an amen in the comments you know throw an emoji in there um, to share with that but have you ever set your mind on something so determined to not quit until you had accomplishment I think of when I think of that a lot of times I think of kids kids are really they're pretty good examples of what it, it's like to set your mind onto something yeah yeah thanks Becky whether it's uh, figuring out how to get onto the counter to get up <laughs> into the cookie jar, uh, whether it's to figure out how to you know, get this little puzzle piece that they're working on to fit, you know, that square peg, which hole is it going to fit in? Good morning, Laura. Thanks for watching. Kids are great examples of, of being determined to setting their mind to finish and accomplish whatever it is that they are working on. And so, uh, likewise, you probably have had that same experience of setting your mind on something. And so, I've been thinking about during this this time where we're sheltering in place. Uh, you know what what have you been setting your mind to? And if you are so uh, encouraged, I would invite you. Good morning, Lowell. Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, whatever that might be for you right now, if you want to share it with us in the in the <laughs> just this morning, trying to figure out technology. Yes, you know I've been setting my mind to that uh, this whole time of trying to. You know, with using Facebook Live and Zooms and uh, live streaming worships. Uh, yeah, yeah, trying to, setting my mind to figuring out this technology. It's something that we're all probably in um, as well. But, you know, if there's something you've been setting your mind to as you shelter in place, I'd love for you to share it with us in the comments there um, uh, to just, you know, show some solidarity with one another and what we're doing. Um, but as a... Uh, as I read this with you, as I share this uh, piece of scripture with you, I want you to, to reflect upon what it means to set our mind to something. And so, um, like it says in the description, we're going to be reading Philippians 2, 1 through 8. I encourage you to grab a Bible as I share this, uh, this story from scripture with you. If there then is any encouragement in Christ any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being of full accord and one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, 
Though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in human likeness and being found in human form. Jesus humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. And this is a, it's one of my favorite readings um, from the Bible. And, you know, likely what I just read to you was part of an early hymn that the uh, early churches as they gathered at homes would sing with one another. And what makes this such an important passage for me is that it really, I think it, it captures the central characteristic of what uh, Christ's life was all about and, and the essence of God. It, and that central characteristic, that essence is, is love. And that's you know, what we are to set our minds to. That's what God calls us to set our minds to, is that we are to be of the same mind with one another concerning and regarding love. And so as we are you know, sheltering in place, you know, how can you set your minds to loving others? You know, what might be some ways for that you and me, that we can set our minds on loving others around us. If you have some ideas, I'd love for you to share them in the comments um, because it might spark, uh, spark something for someone else who's gathered here watching this this morning who views this, this Facebook video. Um, it might inspire them. Yes, that's the way I can. I can do that. I know a lot of people uh, are, are uh, sewing masks um, for those who are working in the healthcare industry. I mean, I think that's a great example, a way in which um, we can set our minds to loving others. Another way, uh, you know, it doesn't maybe seem like it is, but I think it, it, it's a great way to show our love towards one another and, and towards others out there, is that uh, at 8 p.m. you can light a candle outside your house um, as, a, as, a, as a means to show solidarity with all of those who are working um, in the healthcare industry, all of those who are those first responders who are on the front lines of this uh, of this virus. Um, so I think that's a, a really an easy way that we can um, show love for one another. And so if you have uh, ways that you're doing it at home, I would love for you to share them with us, uh, post them in the comments, um, and because that might help someone else to figure out a way in which they can then set their minds on loving others as well at this time. Good morning, Elena. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, well, I would like to, uh, as we bring our time to a close together today, uh, offer this prayer and, and a brief blessing for you as you go about the rest of your day. Life giver, pain bearer, love maker, you strengthen us and you sustain us each day of our lives so that we might pour forth your love into this world. Empower us, Lord, to have a mind like Christ, a mind set on serving and loving, especially in places of creation that are broken and in need. May you open our minds and may you set our hearts upon the compassion and love of Christ. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, yeah, Becky, reaching out to those who are isolated by f phone calls. Yeah, telemedicine with your clients. Um, you know, yeah, it's just a simple phone call to someone, maybe you know someone at Mount Cross that uh, you feel, I, I should call them. Because that phone call it can make a world of difference, just that feeling of being connected, right? It's another way to be connected. Um, so thank you for sharing that, Becky. Students, families, yeah. Yeah, that's a great, uh, a great way. Um, you know, uh, we just had that. One of our kiddos, you know, had a, a Google Meet. And, and the teacher, you know, then left the students together just to talk. Amen for, hey, John, thanks for tuning in from Warsaw. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Just showing that love with your school community. But our kiddo got to, you know, be in a Google Meet with, with some of his class, his classmates. And it was just fun for them to connect again once again so for all of you uh, just keep on setting your mind towards love 
Uh, find all sorts of ways, as small as you might think it is, it might be a very powerful way to show love. Letting people know you appreciate them. Yes, Laura. Right? Just that sense of um, being affirming, especially at a time like this. So, yeah, there you go. See, we're getting all these ways in which we can continue to, uh, to set our minds on Christ's love and to be able to show that and share that even from our, our, our own homes, right? From, from our living rooms, we can still do this. So thank you all for being here, for sharing in this time with me this morning. Uh, I hope all of the Although the rest of your day is blessed and uh, the, the sun will shine as, mo as, as much as possible this morning. So God bless you all and peace.